Can you actually grow big time with only 15 minutes a day on Instagram? Well, we're gonna talk about that and also, because I'm actually kind of busy myself, we're gonna talk about that in under two minutes. Well, I know how it's like, people. You got stuff to do, man. You've got to so, bake a cookie, take out the trash. You've got to, you know, maybe work even. And all of these things that usually take lots of time. Then again, you kind of want to grow your Instagram account because, you know, why not? And, you know, sometimes I know it's kind of hard because, you know, every time you probably watch my videos, I say content, 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 and all of that. And we're going to talk about content and all of those content things a little bit later. But, you know, sometimes you just don't have that time to put in your Instagram account, but you still have to, you know, keep posting. Can you actually grow with only 15 minutes a day? I'll tell you that. I've got some time hack things, a system in place that you can actually use and it's actually a simple system that you can use to actually grow. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Dominic. We talk about usually breaking the rules to make some sort of living as a you know, creative person, as a you know personal brand and all of that. We're talking about Instagram strategies, lots of cool stuff basically. That's why you should, by the way, subscribe here. Right, so let's say you don't have that much time, but you still need to get or want to get your content out there. You know, you kind of want to try to aim at least for three to five posts a week. You know, for the sake of right now, we say you want to aim for three posts a week just because you don't have time. And let's say you got roughly 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes a day is usually doable by anyone. Everyone can kind of get you know, 15 minutes per day to at least do a little bit stuff that they want. So the first thing that you actually might want to do here is to actually try to block out some time. For example, you take half an hour one day, but then on the other day, you don't do anything at all and kind of block it out that way. For example, if you block all 15 minutes in a week, that would be about one hour and 45 minutes. And that kind of sounds different, right? And it's actually sounds a little bit more doable. So this whole thing, you know, if you think you don't have time for social media, it's not true really. At least to some extent, some kind of a time management issue. And to be honest, I'm not the best in time management. You know, just to set this straight, that just shows that you don't have to be that good as well either. I actually try to think, what do you need to get done in those one hour 45 a week to get your three pictures to five pictures out there? You've got to shoot pictures. You've got to edit them. What's actually a sign for edit? I don't know. You've got to post them, including all the hashtags, and then you have to do some interactions to actually get you know people to notice them, right? So for the first big chunk is you know which is actually taking pictures, you would have to ideally block some time off. For example, 30 minutes. You take 30 minutes, go out there and take at least three pictures. For this example, we just kind of talk about three pictures, and three pictures are totally doable within 30 minutes. You know, go out there, take you know a jacket, take some other clothes so that it appears that these pictures were actually shot in you know three different days actually and try to shoot three different pictures you know ideally you take a friend with you and you kind of you know do it vice versa they take a picture of you while you take a picture of them if that all doesn't work if you don't have friends or whatever or you just want to go out there by yourself you, know, you can always take a tripod and you know just go for the self-portrait action and to be completely honest it's going to be hell of awkward i tell you that for sure if you you know take pictures of yourself with a big tripod in the middle of a street in the city for example you know well just don't care about these people i might actually do a video about you know self portraits only if you're just by yourself for you know instagram and all of that so you know comment down below if you really want to get a video about that right so you got those three pictures for example and you rush home then it's time to allocate some time to edit those pictures and of course because you don't have that much time you need some you know fast way to edit the pictures so in a pretty good way now my example would be here is just to take visco cam and you know this is actually a pretty great app it, it's actually pretty fast usually it takes like two to three minutes to edit the picture and what you can actually do is to craft your own recipes on there so that you can kind of more or less do the same style all over with your picture so you get a theme right so let's say editing a picture takes about two to five minutes per picture you know for the sake of this here let's say it takes five minutes so for three pictures you have 15 minutes taken from your weekly one hour 45 which leaves us with actually one hour left so what do you do with this hour First of all, of course, you've got to post these pictures and it takes time because you have to come up with a caption. You have to come up you know, with some hashtags and you have to actually post those pictures. That's why I would say it takes about five minutes per picture to actually you know, upload them and all of that, which leaves us with roughly 45 minutes left. And this is actually a pretty big chunk, the, the last 45 minutes a week that you would have to invest 
in yourself because like you probably know just throwing up pictures on Instagram even if it's cool content it won't do anything right well, unfortunately creating good content is only half of the equation you need some kind of strategy to actually distribute you know your cool content to the people which is actually what those last 45 minutes are all about you should take your content you I made a video about you know interacting with other people Gary V made another video about that basically for the rest of the time that you have left try to interact with the people because you know the more you interact the more you're going to get eyes on your profile and all you need is eyes on your profile right the more people that are going to see your profile your you know instagram posts the more people are likely to you know actually follow you and this is probably what you want to hear so if you break that down again those 45 minutes to you know seven days a week is <laughs> roughly about six and a half hours per day you know it's not that much but you know it's still better than nothing and actually you know maybe you can find some more time where you can do some more interacting stuff with your profile for example if you're in the subway if you walk on the streets but you gotta be actually really careful because you know traffic all you know, other people have my stories about that or you just sit in a school and the teacher's trying to tell you about something that no one cares about you know whip out your phone and interact with your profile don't get caught though anyway this has been my quick video for today um you know if you use these things i'm pretty sure you will get from here to there i mean it's not it might not be that much but you know it's still better than nothing to be honest and you know it there's always going to be times where you don't have that much time for your social media presence for Instagram and all that. So use that system to actually create a little bit some kind of buzz. Because, you know, a little bit is better than nothing. Anyway, this has been it for today. My name's Dominic. Why don't you hit that like button if you like that, you know, subscribe, of course. And, you know, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Probably we're going to do some sort of profile review tomorrow again. Because you people ask me, like, this is the most asked questions for some weird reason that people ask me. Please review my profile. That's what we're probably gonna do it tomorrow. So if you really want to get your profile reviewed, comment down below. The faster you do it, you know, the more likely I'm going to pick you. My name's Dominic again. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.